Hello, this is Titus with the Hard Attack Brigade, and as discussed on a previous blog post, uh, I ordered a Model 27C Kaminga Compass. Came today in the mail. Came with uh, the compass and some other stuff in the packaging. I ordered the 27C phosphorescent lens attic compass as opposed to the 3H Kaminga compass that has tritium. Main reason is tritium is $30 more. I found this compass for about uh, uh, $50 online. You probably get one new, ch a little cheaper if you shopped around real hard. Mm, maybe a little, uh, a lot better price if you think about used. The uh, tritium compass ha has the tritium has a lifespan, and I don't know how much I'm planning on using this. And if I get this out in two or three years, I don't want to have to deal with, or five, ten years, I don't want to have to deal with dead tritium in here. Here's some other stuff that um, that was uh, in the packaging, or what I like to point out on uh, the little blurb that came with the packaging. It's the model. 27 made to uh, US military specs. It is shock water sandproof, battle tested, negative 50 degrees, 150 degrees Fahrenheit functionality. It's made in USA. That's important to me. Has a one year um, warranty for uh, defects of workmanship and materials. In the kit came a little lanyard, as they call it, a little nylon cord. Um, a little pouch, a little bandage uh, compass pouch with a clip for your LBE or whatever you're using, a little manual, talks about different parts of the compass, how to shoot some asthmas, um, some basic navigation, night navigation, uh. and here's the compass itself, looking all the same very much as the compasses uh, I was familiar with in my military experience, uh, like PLDC and basic training, you know, you got pretty familiar with these. And, uh, well, out on FTXs. And it looks the same. It's kind of stiff. I'm not used to having a new compass. This, this little roll pin will break in. The one thing that is a little different than what I remember is, is this uh, bezel dial here is plastic as opposed to, uh, I think I seem to remember the ones I had being uh, metallic. But besides that, um, it seems to be functioning correctly. And uh, I'm here in a basement bunker. No, I, actually, but I am in a basement. And it seems to be working, pointing at north as far as I can tell. And this is something, uh, you might be tempted to get a cheap compass, but I've grabbed a couple of these cheap compasses and tried to show the kids how to operate them, and they're just so pitiful. You can't even begin to work with them. So if you're, if you're buying a compass, this is probably the bare minimum that, 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 that's acceptable. And I'm kind of a tightwad. So if I'm saying that, just don't, don't look at the much cheaper than this and unless it comes with a real good recommendation from someone you trust let me let me for one more final uh show the grand finale let me uh, show you the phosphorescence the fact that it does work i'm holding it up to the light here charging it up the special glow in the dark stuff i don't think there's any special magic in it you've seen it before and i hope you can see that on the camera but the little the mark markings are all glowing in the dark and it seems to be working like it's supposed to and I welcome any comments uh, additional information questions on the blog or in the comment section of this video thank you